So we had a wonderful hunt yesterday. It was great. It was amazing. See, she's even trying to tell you how amazing it was. But she got her feet pretty messy. So if you take a look down here, look at all that blood. There's blood and guts and, and some dirt that got all up in her talons. And we need to clean that out. Otherwise, this could cause infection, even if it's just sitting on her skin. And it's a pretty simple way of getting her talons all clean. So all we do is I take an old toothbrush. This is one of my old toothbrush heads. And I do a soapy mixture of water and like kind of Dawn soap. And so it's a little sudsy. And we just start scrubbing away. We start scrubbing them talons. Make sure we get underneath. She's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing because this is the first time I've ever cleaned her feet. She's a little vocal because she's trying to beg for more food. And this is a regular thing that you gotta do with their feet. You want to keep their feet very healthy. Um, foot health. Foot health is really important for birds of prey. You wanna keep their feet infection free and you want to make see look at all that nastiness on there you want to keep their feet infection free and she doesn't really like it that much maybe it tickles does it tickle astrid i think she's more confused than anything let's pick the bottom in between Since this is the first time, she's probably very confused. Normally after you do this a few times, they kind of realize, realize that there's nothing to be afraid of and that it's just kind of routine. Um, as they hunt more and more, as the humidity gets higher, you want to make sure that their talons stay clean so that if, when it gets more humid after, after the snow and such, especially when the snow starts um, melting and um, the humidity rises right after that. Uh, they these are more likely to build up bacteria in the more. You're okay in the more wet. See, she's kind of just nervous about this whole thing that I'm doing here. All right, now let's do the other foot. underneath those talons. Also with their foot health is you don't want them developing bumblefoot. How they normally develop that sore is from improper perches. Maybe the perches are too rough or maybe um, they're, all the perches are exactly the same. So the pressure on their feet is constantly the same. Um, maybe they're, they're the wrong shape. You shouldn't have square perches. The perches need to be round like using a two by four as a perch isn't really the best idea because it puts pressure on the wrong parts of their feet and then if you get nasty blood like this while they have those sores if you get nasty blood like this while they have those sores then they're going to develop an infection and their feet are going to swell up and i know their feet are going to swell up and it's going to get awful and then and then they can't even hunt. And then you gotta go in, then you gotta go to the vet, drain out those sores, bandage up their feet. It's, it's a big mess. So you want to avoid bumblefoot at all costs. So have proper perching, keep your bird's feet. You done? Keep your bird's feet. Keep your bird's feet nice and clean. That'll help prevent bumblefoot. Um, also, what's important is for their talons to stay sharp. So what can help keep these talons sharp is, well, she's letting us get under. What helps keep their talons sharp is making sure that the perches aren't too hard. If they're too hard, her talons will get blunt. So that's why I cover all my perches with AstroTurf and rope and things like that and carpeting and it really really helps keep all of the uh, uh helps keep her talons nice and sharp 
So that way she hunts, that way she can uh, really hold on to those rabbits really, really well. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting the bottom of her feet pretty good here. And then we can rinse her off. All right. Let's just rinse off your feet. Now some, some birds, sometimes they're really good at keeping themselves clean and they'll, they'll go in and, and take a bath in their enclosure uh, with the bath pen we provide. Uh, but, but she doesn't really like the bath. So you see how much better that looks? There's still a little bit in there, but you know what? We got most of it. It's pretty much disinfected. So she's ready to go back in her enclosure. She's got good, happy, healthy, sharp talons, great feet. So we just want to make sure we keep them that way. Astrid says, thank you for watching. And so do I. Have a wonderful day and we'll catch you later.